and welcome to my channel Property by Emily. Here I'll be discussing all things property related from floor plans and layouts, the renovation process, property staging and everything in between. We currently have eight renovation projects on the go um, so I thought this was the perfect way to go into a bit more detail on each showing you the process start to finish what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis working full-time in property. Of course, I'll be taking on lots of tours around each property at the various stages of development, plus my favourite, which is staging a property ready for marketing. So if you're interested in interior design, property renovations, property investment, or just want to see what I get up to, then please follow along with our property journey. As this is the first video, I thought I would show you some of the projects we are currently working on and you can see the progress and the state that they're currently in. This is our flat conversion project. The property was bought at auction and this is what the property looked like when I saw it for the first time back in October 2018. As you can see, it has been stripped back to brick and was in need of a lot of work, much more than I initially thought when I walked through the door. This will be a very spacious two bed flat with two bathrooms and a kitchen lounge diner that opens up to a small garden. onto the first floor. And this will be bedroom two, which is now blocked off as the entrance to the flat is on the other side of the staircase. This is the smallest of the three flats because of the two staircases. This here is the kitchen lounge diner. It is a compact space, so we have to be very clever with how we furnish it to make it functional, stylish, and not too overcrowded. There are now doors out to a little balcony, which adds a bit more space to the flat. This doorway has also been blocked off now. And here, this will be the entrance to the flat with a small hallway. We are in the master bedroom now and onto the bathroom. Now let's see the top floor flat. The entrance to this flat is at the bottom of this set of stairs. We have the second bedroom over here. And then we go through to bedroom one. And now onto the kitchen lounge diner and bathroom. The kitchen will sit either side of the bay window. And again, we will need to get compact furniture in here to create the dining and living areas within this space. Unfortunately, we have had some delays on this project. So skip forward 17 months to now, and we are very close to finishing this one once and for all which will be a huge relief for everyone. Let's take a look at some pictures of what it looks like right now. Here we have our five bed HMO refurb. This project has been going on for around five months and we are set to finish it off within the next two weeks. The flooring has just started to go down and I have ordered all the furniture, but we are still waiting for various pieces to be delivered. Then it is time to assemble them all, stage the property and start marketing. We have redone the majority of this bathroom, replacing the bathtub to a large shower and adding in another toilet and a new sink vanity. There is a separate toilet and sink next door to this bathroom, but we have left it as it is. 
Let's go downstairs where we have the kitchen lounge diner. We have installed a brand new kitchen with a large breakfast bar, which is going to look great with the bar stools that I've ordered. So I'm very excited to see this space all come together and we will get two sofas in here as well to create a cozy lounge area. Down here we also have the fifth bedroom. You can see there is a damp issue in the far corner. We have had to strip it back to make sure that we are resolving this issue completely to avoid unhappy tenants and reduce the time and money on maintenance in the future by nipping it in the bud now whilst work is still going on here. It will be sorted in two weeks just in time for marketing. At the top of the stairs you can see the separate toilet. Upstairs we go. This is the smallest room in the house, but as it has built-in wardrobes, it doesn't require as much furniture. So it will still be a good size room. The other four rooms in the property are all relatively similar in size. This is the final bedroom with just some of the furniture that has already arrived. penthouse apartment is my favourite project, especially with the gorgeous staircase leading up to the flat. The plan is to follow this design and style throughout the apartment, which will look amazing. We had major roof leaks in this property, which is why the tenants had to move out. Unfortunately, as we are the top floor, we faced all of the damage. The roof is now fixed, but we have damp issues on some of the chimney stacks, which need investigation. This whole building is overseen by a management agent, which has further caused delays as it took several months to get the roof fixed in the first place. And moving forward, we have to wait for permission and various other things before we can progress with turning it into a beautiful space. It currently has five generous bedrooms, one very spacious kitchen lounge diner, one bathroom, a separate toilet, a pointless four metre long corridor to a shower, don't ask me why, and a random room with the boiler in. We still have to hold off on doing any work here until we sort all the legal stuff out, which I won't go into until we actually know what direction we are going with on this property. So that was just three of the renovations currently under development, all at different stages and all different property types. And we still have another five renovations to sort out, but it is all very exciting and it is keeping everyone very busy, that's for sure. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see more property by Emily and so you don't miss the next video.